Hello guys, I'm back from another video on Tazibi's Mouth. What if Deku was experimented on? So in the last video, we talked about how after, well, waking up from, you know, sleeping, they were told that it's finally the day of the sports festival. So, after all of the events, we moved to Izuku, getting ready to fight, well, one of his opponents. Or at least his first opponent for the last event, being the one-on-one -on -one battles. In this case, this battle was between him and Suyu Asui, which... Asui basically kicked his ass, and thankfully Izuku won, but he was pretty much tired and basically fallen to the ground and basically fallen to sleep. So yeah, that is pretty easy to say, so this is basically the explanation about what happened last episode. And so, I'm also very sorry about this, the sound quality about last episode. I don't know what happened, but still. Um, anyway. So, I want all of you to pick a hero name because I don't really have a hero name right now for Izuku in this what if. So, tell me down below in the comments about what type of hero name um, that Izuku should have. Like, what is the explanation and why? Tell me down below. And so, let's talk about what happens next. So, Izuku is basically in the infirmary, basically resting up. As Izuku would wake up, I mean, Izuku would wake up as he says this. <sighs> what the, what the hell happened? Oh, my head. Uh, as he would look over and see a girl, specifically an old lady, as... She would say this. Oh, young man, I'm really sorry about what happened. And, by the way, are you okay? As he would say this. Yeah, I'm pretty much okay. I just felt... Oh, uh, my head. As she would say this. Oh, don't worry. I am the head nurse of the school. My name is Recovery Girl. As he would say this. Recovery Girl, eh? So, what happened to the sports festival? As she would say this. Oh yeah, that. It's still continuing. Your next match is coming up very soon. After this one. As he would look into the monitor. As the monitor would, well, video both Todoroki and a person fighting one of the students. As Izuku would see this, as Todoroki would won. As the, well, nurse or aka... You know, Recovery Girl would say this. So, are you ready? As Izuku would say this. Yep, I'm pretty much rested up, so... Um, anyway. I should be going now. So, where's my... As she would say this. Oh, it's over there. As Izuku would see his t-shirt. As after he puts it on, he would start leaving. So, the match is about to begin as it's not, like... His next opponent is actually Todoroki, which, after Izuku saw that, Todoroki would say this. Good luck to you, um, Izuku. As Izuku would say this. Good luck to you, too. So, as they started going towards the, well, stadium, or the, you know, arena, they would see that, apparently, this stadium would change. As, just imagine this. You know Pokemon, right? In, like, um, the Kalos League? Yeah? In, like, Pokemon X and Y in the anime? Just imagine it, like, similar to that, where the arena would change into a different biome. Like, for example, in the anime, apparently Ash and, um, what's his face? The guy with the, um, um, Mega Charizard, um, basically fighting. The one that basically is like a water area, I think. Or was it a mountain area? I can't remember. Just imagine it like that. So, the area would change as it would turn into an ice arena. As Izuka would say this, I'm guessing somebody was a bit biased. As Todoroki, I meant Todoroki would say this, I guess so. So, we move to a different perspective, to perspective of Inko. Inko would say this, Izuku, what happened to you? Even though I heard that this uh, so-called Aprishiki project had 
subjects use multiple quirks, or in this case, given artificially made quirks, but why don't you have a fire breathing? Did something... Did, did they... She would start getting angry, and starts thinking to herself, What did they do to you? As Izuka would say this to Todoroki, In the match, or in the middle of the match, Are you ready? As she would say this, Yes. As she would start using her eye only, As the match would begin, By the sound of Midnight's Well, whip. The sound of the whip would ring around the entire stadium, hearing it all across the area. As both of them would start charging at each other, as Izuku would bring out one of his insectile limbs, being, well, the almost like insect like arm, as he would use the spikes to start, you know, bashing her head in. Well, not in like the murder sense, more like in the, well, you know, knocking her out sense. She would use the um the attack to her advantage by making an ice sickle. A <laughs> just imagine an ice scythe. So she would throw Izuku away using his arm and using his weight by basically just like throwing him away. Izuku would go up into the sky as he would create a web. Caught it like um catching his guard up as he would say this. <laughs> That was smart, but allow me to show you a little trick that I have learned. So, Izuku would turn one of his, well, um, arms, or not really arm, more like, um, one of his, like, insectile limbs, the one that looks like a, you know, this, as he would rip, well, those two from his back. Everybody would be horrified seeing him just, like, tearing them off, as Izuku would say this. Don't worry, besides, it doesn't hurt. And I can also just do this. As two more would grow back, as Izuku would say, just like the Hydra, if you break one, two will take its place. Just like me. As he would put these two together, as they would start fusing and becoming one, as Izuku would start creating a web, as this web would make a weird looking weapon, as one of them would recognize it. It's a bow. As he would do, I meant, as Izuka would say this. Heh, <laughs> now take this. As he would break the ice, as he would grab one of the ice shards and basically shoot it at Todoroki. As Todoroki would not expect this, but she would dodge anyway getting hit by a shard of ice right in her cheek where her scar used to be or was um, in or basically where it's located as everybody would be impressed seeing him able to do that but one of them being Inko would be horrified seeing Izumi actually doing this as for Izumi Izumi would just like Izumi is just basically canon Izuku so, just imagine her just, like, writing her notebook. Bakugo would just be pissed off at Izuku, not at Izuku, I meant Izumi, but more or less, Izuku is basically winning this match. Izuku would, well, basically split both of his, like, you know, um, you know, his bow, turning them into basically sickles, even though I didn't draw that. Just imagine it, um, in your heads. So... He would start using them as sickles, just like, you know, Todoroki with his, or her, ice sickles. <laughs> Still up the pun. Anyway, wait for a second. She would start shooting, well, more ice shards as Izuku would start slicing them with his sharp, well, um, insectile limbs. And also with the help of those sickles that he created from his old ones. After a while of fighting, he would decide to just smash, or more specifically, slice into the ice, causing it to crack as Todoroki would fall into the water. As Izuku would say this, how do you like that? As Todoroki, or at least Izuku and the rest of the um, people in the, you know, um, well, arena 
would feel shaking as Izuku would look under him as a gigantic ass ice spike would appear as several ice spikes would appear as one of them is basically with Todoroki or more specifically Todoroki is standing on one of them as she would say this <laughs> that little trick uh, wouldn't beat me but I can't believe you actually did it so I commend you as she would create an ice well, sword, as she would say this. But unfortunately, it's time to end this. As she would charge forward, as Izuku would dodge the attack, going on to ice shard to ice shard, or ice spike to ice spike, or whatever. As he would start using webs to create, well, more platforms for himself. As he would say this, take this. As he would start summoning a swarm of insects at her. She would start cutting them down, freezing them, causing them to fall into the, well, into the icy cold waters below. Izuku would just be angry because, you know, those were his favorite bugs. As Izuku would start charging at her, as after a while of fighting, they would feel exhausted. As Izuku would just say this, Put <sighs> your guard down, as she would say this. Sorry, but how do you have the advantage in this little area? I'm technically more advanced than you. As Izuku would say this. That's the neat part. Because you don't. As she would see something in his finger. String. Or more specifically, web. As she would say, wait, wait, wait. As he would pull on the web as several strings or should I say the web, would start collapsing into her. Basically, she would be stuck, tied up, as Izuku would be declared the winner. As Izuku would say this, <sighs> That was tiring, but that was good. I absolutely loved that fight. You quite improved, Todoroki, but unfortunately I won. So, see ya. As Izuku would jump down from each ice spike to ice spike, going back to the actual, you know, um, entrance to the, you know, locker rooms, as he would start, well, going back to changing his clothes, as he's completely sweaty. So, yeah, that is basically the end of that match, and for the next match, he's basically waiting for everybody to finish theirs. So, while he's basically waiting, he would decide to go somewhere else, as he would encounter again, Damien. As Damien would say this, Oh, hello Izuku. As Izuku would say this, Oh, hey Damien. So, what do you want? As Damien would say this, Oh, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to maybe let you join my agency. After all, why not? As Izuku would say this. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could, but still. As she would say this. I meant he. Oh, don't worry. It would be a great time for you. Especially murdering some... Scum villains. As Izuku would say this. Now you're talking. Now. I should be leaving because I should prepare for the next match. As he would say this. Hmm. I understand. Now, see ya, w wouldn't want to be ya, as Izuka would say this, what the frick do you mean by that, as she would say this, I meant he, god dang it, <laughs> he would say this, oh nothing, as he would disappear, going towards a different area, as for Izuku, Izuku would be in the locker rooms waiting, as he would hear arguing in the background, or more specifically, outside the locker room. As he would just get out of there thinking, Huh, what the heck is going on? As when he gets out there, he would see both Todoroki and a man basically talking. As this man would say this, Hey girl, why do you don't like me so much? Besides, I'm quite popular and, 
Maybe your dad would want me to marry you. After all, he's quite interested in powerful quirks just like mine. As he would start creating blades out of his fingers. As she would say this. Sorry, but I would rather not. As he would say this. Oh, come on, baby. Don't play hard to get. As he would start uh, grabbing onto her, well, chin. And he would start looking into her eyes. As Todoroki looks visually uncomfortable. As Izuka would come out of the shadows and says, Hey, get off my fucking sister. As he would say this. Who you're talking to? I'm supposed to be the number one. As he would see Izuku, as he would say this. Oh, oh, it seems that we have your big brother over here. Or more likely your little, um, half-brother. Unfortunately, I won't let you take away my chances, kid. Or should I say brother-in-law? As Izuku would say this. Don't push it. As his, well, you know, um, wait for a sec. His scent to spear would come out of nowhere as it would transform into spear mode. He would say this. Don't you dare touch my little sister. Or half-sister, or whatever. Uh, my adopted sister, or whatever. As he would say this. Wait, adopted? So, you're not actually a Todoroki. Tch, <laughs> why'd even Endeavor decide to adopt you? Besides, you're weak, and you probably have a villainous quirk. After all, insects are not heroic. As Izuku would say this. Why you? As he would start charging towards him, as he says this. <laughs> Try and take this! As he would start making blades from his fingertips. As Todoroki would block the attack, getting herself hurt in the process. When Izuku saw that... Izuku would just look at him as he would say this. Oops, sorry. Heh. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's quite damaged, so... But don't worry, I'll give her to good use. As he would start licking his lips as he would say this, being Izuku. You bastard! As he would grab him by the neck, as he would start getting choked, as Izuku would say this. Do you dare try and hurt my sister? As he would say this. Uh, you asshole! Who are you talking to? As he would say this, you could go die. As his appendages, or more specifically, his more insectile appendages would come out of nowhere, as a hand would touch his shoulder, as he would see Endeavor. Endeavor would say this, Don't worry, I'll handle him. As the guy would actually be scared. As he would say this. Hey, hey, um, Mr. Endeavor, um, um, what are you doing here? Um, are you perhaps, as he would grab him by his arm, as he would start activating Hellfire, his quirk, as he would start getting burned, as Endeavor would lean closer and says this. Do not touch my daughter. As the guy would be afraid and starts running away, saying, You can't... Um, wait for a second, um... Um, he meant this. You'll never see the blast of me! I'm gonna come back and get her! As he would, um, flip the Izuku off, as Izuku would say this. Why that little ca... As Endeavor would say this. Don't worry. Leave him. I'll just tell the police about that little incident. For you, son, or just Izuku, just take care of your little sister. Actually, how old are you exactly again? I kind of forgotten, as he would say this. Oh, for the love of... Me and Todoroki are the same age, you seriously forgot? As he would say this. Oh yeah, sorry about that. As he would say this, anyway... As he would start leaving and goes to Todoroki. As Todoroki would be in the locker room. Her locker room. As she would say this. That... Why? How? Is... Is Izuku... Ma as Izuku would open the door as he would say this. 
Taroki. Shota, are you okay? As she would say this, I I'm fine, don't worry. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to the get yourself hurt. I'm really sorry, I... As Izuku would say this, don't worry. I'm okay. It, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. I'm just glad you're safe. As she would say this. Really? As he would say this. Obviously. I am your adopted brother, so... As she would say this. But I got your... I almost got you killed. And as Izuku would say this. I don't freaking care if I die. Besides... My life is a living hell anyway. Being turned into this? Is it really that... Well, giftful? Is it that even... Well, a blessing? I'll just be happy to die. But for now... I just want to be with you. I don't want you getting hurt. Especially like bastards like him being around. Tch! Makes me sick. As she would say this. Uh, thank you... Brother... As he would say this, hmm? <sighs> I just want you to know that I love you, like a brother, okay? And I don't want you getting hurt. We're family, after all. As she would say this, yeah, family. As Izuku would say this, well, anyway, I should be preparing for the next match, so... See ya. As Todoroki or Shota would say this. Um, sure. As when he left, she would say this. Like family. But I love you. In a different way. To say the least. So. The next match comes up as it's between him and another student. In this case, the student is... Is Izumi Midoriya. As when Izuku saw that, he would say this. <sighs> now this would be fun. So I'm going to be fighting the girl that is now wielding on one for all. <sighs> this is going to be fun. And the reason how he knows that one for all exists and knows about that is thanks to Damien being... Kind of clumsy a bit. So, when he gets to the match, everybody's excited seeing, well, the next competitors being Izuku and, well, Izumi. As, well, Izumi's mother, aka Inko, is cheering for her. But she's also cheering for Izuku. Because she does think that Izuku is, a is actually her long lost child. And she is kind of right. I mean, seriously. So, when the match finally begins, being the final match of the one-on-one -on -one battles and also the final event of the sports festival, they would charge in. As Izuku would start charging in, wielding, well, his sickle-like weapons that he got off, or at least gotten from, you know... Basically ripping off some of his, like, insectile limbs from his back. As she would start charging in, as she would charge up, well, her quirk. Being a fire-based quirk. Or more specifically, a base quirk that specializes in, well, um, fire breathing. Not only that, she would start creating these black, substance-like thing. As she would say this, take this! As he would say this, take this! As when they're about to clash, it's gonna be the end of the episode. Sorry! <laughs> um, sorry, this is gonna be the end of the episode, so unfortunately, we're gonna be leaving it off at a cliffhanger. But before you leave, guys, I want to remind all of you to comment down below for a hero name for Izuku and. And yeah, sorry. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I wanted to stop here is because I'm quite tired. So, yeah. So, and also because I want to, well, pick a hero name 
for Izuku, or specifically you guys should pick a hero name, just say it down in the comments below, okay? Guys, good. So, I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!